we're proposing another source of energy, electrical energy. We don't know the extent to which electrical energy applies, although I mentioned earlier, there is one system in the cardiovascular system where uh, we're pretty confident it does apply. And probably it, it may apply in, in more situations than just that. This is where I would also think that you would go, but this electrical energy that you're speaking of, does it come from the infrared light irradiation? Does it come from the chemical electrical energy in food, like in proteins, right? Because you mentioned the negative charge of proteins may be driving the structured water inside the cell. So do you do you have ideas like, like that, the primary source? Well, um, you mentioned two of them, and uh, one of them is certainly infrared energy, because we have so much evidence that uh, infrared energy, which is freely abundant all around us. The original source is the sun, but everything is generating infrared energy. Uh, you can you can demonstrate that in a dark room. You can't see anything, and you whip out an infrared camera, which is like a regular camera, but the sensor is sensitive to infrared wavelengths, and you get a beautiful picture of everything around you in, in the dark, which means that everything around you is generating infrared energy. So it's a, it's abundant. It's there all the time, which means that easy water is there all the time because that appears to be the main, main but not only, a source of energy. 